Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. So glad everyone is here. Thank you so much for gifting me your most valuable currency, which is your time, your energy. Okay. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and South Node. I'll go ahead and pull the dice and see which zodiac signs it's for. Could be for any of those placements for you, okay? And I will go ahead and also pause the video, write it down in case we might need the dice again to identify later, all right? So let's go ahead. Spirit, what guidance do you have for the general collective at this time? For whom it'll resonate for whenever the time is divine peace, and thank you so much. All right, we have Gemini. Twice, so highly aspected Gemini, okay? We have Pisces. And we have, excuse me, Capricorn. I just ate some very yummy cake. <laughs> need, a, need a little pick-me-up. All right, let me go ahead and write that down. All right, let's get six letter tiles for names, words, initials, and any I don't happen to mention that you happen to see, go ahead and comment down below. It might actually help somebody or be relevant in some way, shape, or form. All right, Spirit, what do we got? A couple more. Here we go. We have the letter A, V, L, Val. We have U. We have another U, so there might be a double value, double value together. Vowel, vowel. Might be value too. We also have a G. Lug. I'm saying the word lug. Gal. Okay. All I can see at the moment. Let's go ahead and pull a couple cards from Tea Leaf. Each half stack, please, and thank you, Spirit. What is happening for our Gemini High Aspected, Pisces, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and South Node, please, and thank you. All right. Second deck, please. We'll also clarify with Half Life Oracle, Life Purpose Oracle, My Locations Identifier Deck, Numology, and Kipper as well. Person, Place, Situation, Thing, Identifier. All right, thank you, Spirit. I'll go ahead and pull those cards right now. I know these reads can get a little long. With all the shuffling and pulling. All right, two from past life, please. Thank you. Uh, let's get a couple from the location identifier, please. Please and thank you. All right. One life purpose oracle, please. Please from this. There we go. And one from the analogy, please. All right. All right. Let's start here. From your tea leaf, we have teapot. Deep friendship with someone of the same sex. Come on. There we go. We have Vine. Seek out information that will help you. Okay. We have Barrel. You feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money, or goals. That could be you or the other in this situation. Whatever the same sex friendship is, okay. Hand in need of help, assistance, and guidance. Perhaps they need your assistance or help in some way, shape, or form. You may need to seek out information 
or maybe they're seeking you out for information. We have tent. This is a temporary situation, so this might be just a small-ish. Okay. Come on there. All right. We have knighthood, so this might be something you might be guarded against or they're guarded against, or they just might have to be strong, right? Shields up kind of thing, just ready for whatever battle is ahead. You also have authority figures, so this could be a legal situation they might need help with, and uh, maybe you might need to help them seek out some information regarding that. As far as location identifiers are concerned, you have the Northern Hemisphere and you have something related to cyclones. So maybe it is somewhere in the Northern Hemisphere and cyclones as far as an identifier is concerned regarding their likes, maybe where they've traveled, maybe what they've experienced, um, maybe where they want to go, <laughs> something along those lines. Ooh. Life Purpose Circle, you have justice. Your career brings fairness and protection to others who need your help. Perhaps you're the legal authority figure that can be of assistance and have information, right? You also have New Moon and Libra. So this could be a Moon Libra. This could also just be a timing of the last New Moon in Libra or the upcoming one. That's typically in Libra season. All New Moons are in their season. So it'd be, um, I'm trying to think what month those are. What is wrong with me? All right. Was that September, October? Does that sound right? A new romantic cycle begins. So perhaps this is um, some resolution on some legal issue regarding a partnership with someone that was a friend, um, same sex. Or something along those lines um, regarding whatever this issue is that they need help with okay so it's temporary so it's it's going to be an easy thing to get over and resolve it seems like with the appropriate information needed all right we'll figure out this further can you tell us more spirit you tripper what is the situation perhaps what information might be needed How can they help? Please and thank you. Six, six. All right. Four came out immediately. Is that four? Yes, that's four. Just like that. There we go. Two more, please. And last but not least. Thank you. <laughs> And my earbud is wanting to get caught on my hematite bracelet. It's magnetic, so go figure. Give me a second here. I'm going to secure it better. All right. Number seven, you have a pleasant letter. So this is actually decent news, whatever this is. Could be a resolution of sorts. See it. Regarding a rich girl, someone younger, well-to-do. Perhaps they don't have a lot to worry about money or their stability. Number 12 breaks down to a three. We have number 29 breaks down to an 11. That's a manifestation number. Prison. So we'll go ahead and clarify that considering we do have authority figures on hand here. Number 21 also breaks down to a three. So 33 may be significant at this time. Living room. This is the family room in the other deck. So this could be regarding family, could be literal prison. We'll figure this out. Number 14 breaks down to a five. That signifies change, sad news. And perhaps that's what she needs assistance with is one of her family members. And 31 breaks down to a four, short illness. This is the bad health card. So we'll figure that out as well. All right, spirit. Can we clarify short illness, please? It does seem like it's going to be a temporary situation, but what is the short illness? This mental, physical, psychological. 
this is just distressing. This is calling, causing some depression or worry. What is this? Thank you. <laughs> we have the high priestess. Okay. Spirit Gordon. Come on, you just guessed it. All right. Queen of Cups. Seer. Missed it. So we got someone that's highly intuitive, right? An omen about happiness. So, yes, that's a confirmation. I basically just called it out. There, um, it's, this situation has caused some anxiety and some upset, okay? <laughs> and the goal is to aim for happiness, you know, to flip the script, right? And maybe that's the information, the, the, the help, assistance, the guidance that's needed. So, you know, a shoulder to cry on and, you know, to hug it out, right? So let's discuss this family prison situation. Can you identify prison, please? Is this a literal prison? Is this a legal problem? Is this a sentencing of sorts? Is this mental imprisonment? Could also very well be that. Please and thank you. Let's get three on it. Again with the high priestess. All right. Perhaps you already know what this is. Okay. All right. And that fell on the floor, and it's the tower. So upheaval, and it seems like it's going to be a mess because it literally fell off the table. All right. Disaster. It's a catalyst. Three of Wands. Something has arrived to create this. What has arrived? One more. Something that required investment of energy with the Seven of Pentacles. And something came back from the past. Six of Cups. All right. What is this tower, Spirit? Causing an imbalance. Two of Pentacles. That wanted to come up in the reverse, and I don't read it that way. What is this tower spirit? All right, fast acting with the eight of wands. Could be something that had been communicated in a very fast method, such as social media, text messaging, and the like. All right. And we have the chariot. So, fast movement. All right. Clarify chariot. Judgment. All right. It could very well be legal, guys, because um, chariot can be seen as like a police car, right? Like a vehicle. And with judgment, perhaps that's the paddy wagon. <laughs> Not just, you know, we're going to go ahead and book you for you know, your court case. This is no, we've already sentenced you. You're going off to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Go straight to jail. Okay. So whoever this is from the past in their situation could be a childhood situation, could be family that they've known their whole life. And that's what's causing this anxiety regarding this situation. Let's see. What is this information that needs to be sought out? I'm pretty sure I already clarified that, but I'm going to do it again. Uh, seven of Swords. Okay. The information needed is you know, where the betrayal or the unethical behavior had been. One more. Okay. So to get the truth of the situation, right? We also have the Seven of Cups. There seems to be some confusion and illusion in this situation. You also have two sevens here, so this is lucky. So whatever, they might need your help to, to solve this issue. Is this person from the past actually innocent? Hmm. And it'll start in the beginning with the full here. Innocent. They are innocent. <laughs> All right. So... I would definitely get professional help on that one. 
Although you could very well be a lawyer and be that professional help too. So let's get some advice for you regarding this situation. From the Santa Morte Oracle. Definitely seek professional advice on this one. It'd be a tricky circumstance. Maybe they need help gathering evidence or um, finding a loophole in a situation that doesn't seem right, right? Okay. <laughs> I almost wanted to be a mess. All right, everything seems to be pretty messy with this. It's all over the place. The status deck of cards fall out. Just like the tower. All right. So you have number 28, which breaks down to 10. Ooh, looking towards the future without carrying the baggage of the past. Let me read this for you. I vaguely remember this card. Okay. Action. This extremely dynamic card pushes you to continue your actions, especially in the direction of a specific choice that you will see illuminated by the sun. You have obtained good results, but you must understand which direction to take them in. No work can become great, positive, and universal if one does not constantly act to bring it and spread it into the world. In case of a deadlock, it will be necessary to project oneself towards the future and understand where the present's problems come from, perhaps by reconsidering the actions of the past. You have the necessary baggage on your shoulders to face the new adventure before you. Do not fear and proceed without giving the problems of the past too much importance. And with that, I'd actually like to pull one more guidance for Jewel. Okay. Let's figure out there's a lesson in this, right? Every circumstance always can teach something. So let's just get a lesson. And I am actually going to pull from the New Orleans Oracle as well, just in case. All right, let me grab that book. Okay, I got it. All right. We'll get a couple from the Soul Journey Lessons card, okay? Figure out what lessons are in this. Either you, them. All right. If we have adversity, I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. Uh-huh. Perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. And self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. All right, excellent. So this is just a reiteration of something you've already learned. Maybe it's just a good reminder of how far you've come to see how you can handle this situation. And it sounds like to me, you'll do just fine. You got that knighthood, right? You got that straight perseverance. All right, let's get some guidance from the New Orleans Oracle to close this out, Spirit. Please, thank you. All right, number seven, end of a cycle. And that is a beautiful artistic rendering of Hurricane Katrina. Let me get another. It's too pretty to be flat. Come on. There you go. Again with the sevens, there's going to be luck. Hurricane Katrina signifies the end of an era in an unexpected and uncomfortable way. The hurricane led not only to the devastation of well-known comforts, but also to the beginning of desired growth and forward movement. Many times it's necessary for things to fall apart in order for them to come together. If this card has shown up, you can expect that your comfort zones have been shaken up. And that's evidenced by the sad news, short illness situation, okay? Whatever this situation is, in the case that it's not a legal matter, or maybe it's just an external legal matter, right? Or the loss of something, right? Okay. The good news is that whatever your perception of change or loss is in this situation, there are wishes about to be fulfilled on the horizon. Focus your energy on the things that you do have control over. Move forward step by step instead of trying to create the entire plan in advance. There will likely be things that arise during this time that can be perceived as setbacks. But if you focus on what is in your power, this experience, while not the easiest, will still prove to have a positive outcome. And 
it has a lot to do with that self-esteem card. So there'll be there'll be some learning situation in there for you as well, whatever this is. Another case of good observation as well as being of assistance for the greater good, right? All right, there you go. Hopefully that helps. Bye.